So, welcome to today's video. Um, my studio is still closing at the moment, but I found some time to go inside to do some midday photography. And I want to talk a little bit about it and give you some tips. And there is a storm coming in like one and a half hours. So I'm trying to pack some information in here and I hope I get some decent shots. So let's go. So let's start with that. Okay, so oh, it's already looking kind of nice. Nice. Well, it's nice to, uh, Disney and Pixar looking clothes. And let's go. Come see, come. Little dog interaction. Very cute. Maybe we can get the first tip for the video. Moving objects can be shot much easier if it's really bright outside. So you can use a faster shutter speed. Back at filming again, we have oops, a nice road with the Disney clouds and how nice. That's it. Here, yes. Fine. Oh, this could look quite nice. Nothing against good old flowers. Yeah. Ah, this is nice. Nice. Oh, hi. So here you can see, oh, sorry, a natural crocodile and you see the clouds work fantastically as softbox and you can use it, clumsy, here, 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 sit, sit, sit. Nice. You can see we can walk with comes here. Button. Say hey. So, first of all, welcome from my home. And he was so stubborn that day. And he was really a little bit off the rails. And yeah, yeah, there are days like that. He has a very big mind on his own. Yeah, um, a little information about what I used that day. I had my Canon 
R8 with me with the 50mm 1.8. I filmed most of the time with my old GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black and for the little snippets in between I used the Nikon D5600 with the lens kit uh, 18-55 and I have to say I have to figure out still how the autofocus on the Nikon is not doing this the whole time, but yeah, have fun with this trip. Sit. Walter. Walter. As you can see, we can work with him. Clumsy? Yeah. Can use the clouds as natural softbox. To get this nice contrasty look of the nice bouquet of the 50mm. Yes! Hey! Are you? Nice! Very good job! Good job! And let's go on. So now that we have the natural softbox and it's still very bright, you can try to capture some first movement. Clumsy. So my plan here is, you see the sun over there, to get like a backlit image of Clumsy. Clumsy! Shimmer! And... Yeah, I think, I think we have some. Yeah, fine boy! And the purpose behind that is that you get like a little light painting around the subject with the, with the light over there and a quite dramatic look from this little guy. So we are in the woods here now and here I will show you some tricks with midday photography, especially if you have this natural softbox look that you can get some quite dramatic, contrasty shots. And even for my model today, it's behaving a little bit off the rails. You really are crazy. To say it like that, we will try to get some decent images. So, we are in the woods. The dog is still behaving like us. <laughs> and I want to take a photo of this nice scenery. We have this nice goal here. I hope you can see it. With the... With the trees in the background. Mm, yes. Nice! Looking good! So you see... With the soft light falling in, you can get some nice contrast between the trees and oh, a little bit of nice composition there. Good. Fine. Fine. And here we have yet again a really interesting looking scenery and I will show you my display. 
how nice we have the a little bit of backlighting a little bit shadow contrasting look how nice yeah looking good so we are using some of the tips with getting a light from the back, creating little back backlighting kind of contrasty shadowy look, but not too much. It's still really diffuse. Is this what you call it? With uh, as we would have a softbox lining the scenery from back here. Nice. Sit. Martin. So now we have the scenery. Again, we use all the tips. Hey, come see. Hey. Having like this majestic look with the natural softbox with the light coming from here directly on this uh, subject now he's smelling something in the woods so nice hey come see So, this was it for this week, a little nice field trip, talking a little bit about the most natural softbox you can have outside, midday and clouds. And yeah, I hope some of the tips about using the shadow, using the contrast, using the light, helped you a little bit, gave you some inspiration and yeah, go out, take photos, even midday, on an overcast day especially, you can get some decent images. So, like if you want to, comment if you want to and subscribe if you want to. Until the next video, goodbye.